Hey everyone, it's your girl New New the Hair Diva, and I'm back with you with a quick nail polish declutter video. Now, the Michael Kors bag in the back is just to allow me some uh, non light reflection so that <laughs> I don't get any uh, unnecessary light. Also, the Michael Kors bag is where I'm going to put all of these polishes. I have decided to give these to my niece uh, in New Jersey as a little gift because I have so many polishes, uh, at least 300, and that's, that's a lot. And these that you see before you are uh, various brands that I love. There's nothing wrong with them. I have used them. Um, but I don't go to them that much and I know if I remove them out of my collection I won't be uh, hurt for <laughs> getting rid of them okay so over here we have some julep polishes back here we have LA girl these polishes here are Milani we have some Sally uh, Henson polish Julie G this row back here in white is OPI, and this front row here is China Glaze. So I'm going to do my best to tell you all of the colors. I'm going to try to do swatches. Everyone said they would be okay with the time, and I'm going to try to do it on this white paper here, just so that you can get a chance to see them a lot better. So I'm going to start off with this front row and this is China Glaze uh, mini nail polish and let's see can I see the name of it it is called Daisy now my name okay Daisy now my name mm-hmm beautiful yellow I don't really think that I have to swatch that but I'm gonna go on ahead and try to do a quick swatch of that on the paper and from what I see it's kind of like a bright highlighter yellow and this is what that color looks like sorry about the shadow so that's the China Glaze this next one is also China Glaze and the name of this is Tremble Maker Tremble Maker if you can see that and this is a beautiful kind of light green um, I would say more on the pastel side well let me hold that this is what that green looks like it is very pretty but I just don't find myself going for the color that often this next color you think I would keep because it is a blue but I've decided to get rid of DJ Blue My Mind. That's what this color is here. Beautiful, beautiful kind of a, let's see, a basic blue, um, not quite sky blue, but I would say a basic blue. Very, very pretty, but like I said, there are minis and I don't use them that often. This next one here from China Glaze is called Glow with the Flow. Beautiful pink. I believe this is kind of like a highlighter pink. Yes, it is a highlighter pink. Very pretty. I know my niece will love these. That is what the pink color looks like. This next color is a beautiful coral orange, and I believe the name of this is called Ready to Have. I'm sorry. Ready to Rave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even with my glasses on, I couldn't see that small right. And like I said, it's kind of like a beautiful coral orange. And that's what that color looks like I think my niece will love these 
nice beautiful purple still china glaze this is called violet vibes and i know you can't see that little paper there that's why um i'm taking the time to try to give you the names this is a nice purple i would say it's a regular kind of crayon purple and that's what that color looks like on the bottom okay so those are the china glazes now the next row behind it are opi i won't necessarily do too many swatches of of the basic colors because we already know what they look like but i will do the darker ones so this is a beautiful yellow and it is very sheer i definitely know that so it's kind of like a jelly like appearance on the nails but i don't wear yellow that often so it has to go this one here is another corally orange they don't have names on them they just have numbers let me check the back yes no names on them but like i said before my niece will definitely love these this here i believe is a dark hunter green let's see i will well it's kind of like a turquoise green but very very dark and that is what that color looks like now to me it looks kind of green it could be on the blue side for many others um, i am a little bit colorblind but the color that stands out the most to me has green hues to it then the next opi is this basic silver and you would think i would keep that but i'm okay i, I have another silver this one here if i'm not mistaken is a lovely dark dark purple very vampy color and that at the bottom is what that color looks like as you can see it is very much darker than the lighter purple above and the last color is this beautiful kind of light cranberry pink i will do a swatch of that too it is very very pretty i definitely thought about keeping this one but i have so many colors that could look like this so i'm just going to get rid of these okay so we did the china glaze we did the opi now let's do these singles over in the corner for this i won't necessarily do a swatch because i have a swatch here this is julie g nail color and the name of this color if i can see it cupcakes and castles and that's what it says right there cupcakes and castles that is what the color looks like it doesn't have any glitters or shimmer it's just a nice basic pastel pink and i really think that my niece would love this on her nails beautiful nude pink this next color here is from sally henson complete salon manicure and the name of this one i believe is on the top 833 hello sunshine very pretty color it is very much more on a yellow than it is a gold inside it definitely has very fine micro shimmers inside it is also kind of very thin so in order to get an opaque color from this you have to do about minimum four coats and sometimes i don't want my nails to be that thick but this is 833 hello sunshine this next one here is a milani polish and this is a clear base polish the name of this one is 08 sugar rush and i do apologize if it sounds like i'm yelling into the microphone i am very close up on it but i will try to adjust that as i uh, set the video up 
This is a beautiful, beautiful glitter. I love that it is a clear base. You can build this up for a complete glitter nail, or you can just have little pieces there. I love to use it on uh, cosmetic wedges. That way it takes away a lot of this clear polish and leaves you more of the glitter. This next one here, beautiful and you would think that i would keep this one too because it is blue has a little bit of pink in it and i have used it as you can see is not quite at the top um this one is called 10 sugar high and i have so many different glitters and i just felt as though that i wasn't using this enough and i didn't want to waste it so off to my niece they go now those two Milani polishes I think will work well over these two LA Girl polishes. And these you cannot find anymore. Um, not that I know of. Unless you go to a beauty supply store way far out that has every single polish you could think of. These are the LA Girl Magnetic Nail Polishes. And the top here has uh, the magnet. You just lift this off. And when you turn it on the other side, there's the magnet. After you apply this nail polish color to your nails, you would take the magnet and kind of hover over the top. And the magnification of this product would leave the lines that you see here on your nails. So yeah, I actually had this in a beautiful red and a nice silver. And this is a beautiful blue called Repel. But I don't use it that often, so I'm just going to let that go. The next color is the same way. And the magnets on this is a beautiful chevron design. And the color on this is called Magnetic Force. And it is a lovely kind of charcoal gray with silver shimmer on the inside. Very, very nice on the nails. Okay, last but not least, we have these polishes here, which are Julep. I used to get this in a subscription box. I will do my best to swatch these as well. I kept some others I am letting go. Like I said, I pretty much have these colors, so I think my niece will enjoy it. This is a beautiful black with silver shimmer on the inside. And the name of it is on the bottom, and it is called Kendra. And I will do a swatch on the other side of the paper. Let's put that well actually I need to hold it <laughs> this is what that color looks like I don't know if you can see the shimmer in it but it is very pretty the next one is a beautiful coral not necessarily orange but more corally and this is called Madison And I will swatch that for you as well. And yes, I this color and this color here are pretty much the same. So it just depends on what brand you want to use. There is that color there. Let's move on to the next one. This color here is a beautiful nude. It's kind of pink and creamy, a little taupey. There is a little tiny bit of shimmer on the inside. And this is called Shari. And that's what that color looks like. Hopefully I can get this to swatch pretty good on the paper. Yes, it looks very nice. And as you can see, it has kind of a pinky hue it also has a taupey hue and it has just a tiny bit of shimmer that may not be showing um, on the camera two more and we're done 
This here is a top coat and this gives you the crackle effect. So I do enjoy this. Um, I'm still going to give it to my niece. It is a beautiful shimmer and what I'm going to do is give you a swatch of it by itself and then I will go over one of the other polishes that I did and hopefully by the time we finish the video and I'll show you all the swatches again it will give you the crackle effect alright so here is that silver shimmer you can see that at the bottom and then I also placed it over the top it is still drying but what it's going to do is give you the crackle effect that you see at the top alrighty glass julep polish that we have beautiful beautiful fuchsia color I mean I really thought long and hard about keeping this one but I decided that it was probably best just to let it go I have so many other ones and I've also canceled my julep um, subscription this one is in the color Maddie and let's go on ahead and give you a swatch of that I think this color is outstanding and my <laughs> baby sister might even take it from me but it's her daughter who I am giving the nail polishes to so that is that color there in just a little bit it's not quite crackling too much but that is the crackle polish at the top and this is the color Maddie at the bottom all right I want to thank everyone for sticking with me to the end of this declutter video I didn't want to make it too long by trying to pick and choose and have every single nail polish on camera so I just did it this way I hope that you enjoyed it Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And just to let you know that I am working on the Confessions of a Beautician video as well as the makeup and clothing that I will be taking on my trip. I will end this by saying to all be blessed. Wear your makeup, do your nails, save your money. And Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.